Well, welcome to my channel if you're new welcome back if you're not so today's video is going to be me testing out this new this new foundation it's been out for like a good hot minute now but it's the new foundation from NYX the can't stop won't stop and mahogany it's the shade I got That's what the bottle looks like um, I picked this up maybe two weeks ago literally the day before my birthday so and I've been testing it out since then and I'm going to give you a wear test and a review today in this video. So if you want to see what my thoughts are then please keep watching. So I primed with my Guerlain Active Blurring Base is a mattifying smoothing primer. And I also used my color corrector sample that I from Makeup Forever on the bottom part of my face. And now I'm going to go in with the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation in the shade Mahogany that looks like so let's see and I love the brush I'm going to use I just washed a lot of my brushes and I don't really want to use them they look so nice but I'm going to use my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush Face yeah, Expert Face Brush it didn't want to come out so this isn't my first time trying this foundation and I do prefer it for to a brush as opposed to a sponge because this coverage is not full coverage Okay, this is what it looks like. I probably have about two layers on my cheeks and one like everywhere else. That's how much foundation I pumped out. This is what it looks like as it's drying. My face is, my hand is lighter than my face and my face is lighter than my neck. So it's okay if it's a little dark because then it matches everywhere else and I look like one person. Well, I'm part of the same body. And blend it out so it doesn't get full coverage because you can still see have a pigmentation through here and here so that first claim on the bottle full coverage foundation is a lie because I build it up twice and it won't cover these marks so this is why I prefer it with a brush as to a sponge because then I can at least get as much coverage as possible out of the foundation so now I'm going to go put on the rest of my makeup and then I'll be right back. Okay, so this is me with my makeup done. I did not use any foundation powders. All the powders I used were more on the sheer side, so I didn't add any coverage. Just, you know, yeah. And, um, yeah. I mean, so far it looks nice. Um... I would prefer the full coverage if I prefer the full coverage just personally. Um, but yeah. Everything else seems to be okay. The color doesn't look bad. I mean 111, 112, and I will check in. I, I'm gonna check in. So I'm gonna check in in a few hours, probably when I'm on my break. So see you guys then. 
All right, guys, I'm back. It's currently 12.34, so it's been quite a few hours. I did blot once throughout the day, and at that point, I decided I wasn't going to do a check-in. So, yeah. So, my makeup. I look really oily, as you can see, but um, I don't feel... The foundation is settling into fine lines, but I don't feel like the oil is necessarily breaking up my foundation at least not yet I feel like I see it on top of my foundation but I don't see like my skin through the foundation like normal like what is normally the case but we can talk about the cleanse of the foundation a little bit to see a little bit more so it says only at Ulta I'm so I'm on Ulta's app it says lightweight waterproof and pigmented AF NYX Professional can't makeups can't stop won't stop huh? coverage foundation hustles as hard as you This comfy liquid formula comes in 45 flattering tones that don't transfer Every creamy shade glides on smooth delivering matte coverage and color that stays true for up to 24 hours This little overachieved but also works to control shine and mattify your complexion all day long But it doesn't stop there. This is foundation's non non-comma the Genic suitable for normal oily combination sensitive skin types. Also, a primer that sold separately that I, as you guys know, I did not use today. Way to go for next for being a drugstore type ish brand. It is found in certain drugstores, like I think CVS carries it. So, yeah, CVS does carry uh, NYX, so it is in the drugstore, but this foundation is only found at Sephora at, for at Ulta. It cost $14.99, but I used some of my points, and I got, I think I paid $9. Um, it's not full coverage, unfortunately. I do like, it does keep me matte longer. I mean, I was pretty oily by the time I got to work, and I had to be at work for 3, and I left here about 1 o'clock. So, in a couple hours, I was oily. I was... I was a little bit shinier than normal, so. But what I've noticed as I've worn this, it did help keep me matte, and I do like to mix it with other foundations because I like the fact that it doesn't break up over time. It, it remains intact by the end of the day, so I still look at foundation on. It may be a little oily, but that looks even better than this still. But it's running along the same vein. Um, it has, I don't believe this foundation has ever broken me out. It's not a drying mattifying foundation, so I don't believe it'll be, that. I do believe that if you have oil, dry skin, it shouldn't, um, if you prep your skin right, it shouldn't be, like, overly dry. So I do like this foundation, I give it a thumbs up. If you're looking for full coverage, you're not going to find it here. If you, find, if you have, like, some, um, a lot of, pup, ugh. If you have a lot of pigmentation you want to cover, it's not gonna cover. You could swap and seal with concealer. I mix it in. I've mixed it in with my Cover FX Power Play, and I really liked it. So this is a thumbs up. I suggest you try it. I this is the only shade I picked up just based off looking at the picture they had. Because it was either this one, there's a lighter color I could have tried, but I decided just to go with this one because it's always safer to go darker. But yeah, so that's it for my review portion of this video so that's it for this video don't forget to subscribe before you leave give it a thumbs up if you like it leave a comment let me know what your thoughts are have you tried this foundation and also don't forget to enter my giveaway which is running until October 22nd I believe it's gonna be listed and linked in the description so yeah I'll see you guys in my next video bye